So question number three of this first exercise gives us this net for which we'll have to form a die. We'll also have to give an explanation for the answer which we get. So to answer this question, let us again take this net without the numbers. So if we are going to form a dice, a cube shaped dice of the, this net, let us take the reference of a cube shaped room where we have the four walls and the floor and the ceiling forming the six faces of the dice. Let us take one of the faces or one of the squares of this net to be the floor such that a person is standing on this floor facing this direction. So if we fold this face about this floor, we'll see that this is going to form the front wall which the person is facing. Next, if we fold this, we, we are going to see that this forms the left wall of the room with respect to the position of the person. Moving on, if we again fold this square of the net, we'll see that it forms the right wall, right hand side wall of the room with respect to the person who is standing on the floor. We again fold this, we'll see that it forms the back side wall or the behind wall of the person. And if we fold this one, we'll see that this again forms the left wall of the room or we can say we'll get two squares of the net which will overlap and hence will not get the sixth face of the dice which may have been formed as the ceiling of the room. So hence we can say that this net won't give us a die. So this is how we are going to answer question number three. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.